<laughs> Hello and welcome back to Gub Farm. I'm going to get the strimmer out. I'm now going to tidy up around the trees just to cut back the grass before I put down wood chip. And the wood chip has two purposes. One, to reduce weed competition. And the second purpose it has is to start attracting saprophytic fungi and just to create the, a fungi rich environment around the trees. So if you're new to the channel, what I'm trying to do is establish an organic hazelnut farm. So I'm going to be taking you all the way from planting through to production and all the tasks that are required during that process. So let's get started. That's the first 80 done. It took about 30 minutes. I have another 450. So that's going to take about two and a half hours to finish. I better get stuck in. trees and the next task now is to start putting down some wood chip. I'm not sure how much wood chip it's going to take to do 450 trees that are planted so I'm going to start off and put down about, about an inch or two of wood chip around the trees and I'll build up from there. I've been looking at different machines that could help speed up the process but I haven't found a suitable option just yet so I reckon I've got about 10 hours of walk just doing this by hand for 450. I'm going to push on. Google Scholars researching best practice on wood chip mulching and there's some debate around uh, nitrogen leaching if you have just brown material. Now this wood chip was prepared with a mix of leaf, it was whole tree, so it does have green in there as well as brown. But all of that being said, even on brown material, the, the research suggests, at least the research I've read so far, suggests that the impact of nitrogen leaching is quite limited and I don't actually see that as a problem because young trees do not grow well in nitrogen rich environments. So I think the wood chip I'm putting down is going to work just fine but time will tell. It's not heavy work and when the sun's shining in September it's quite pleasant. I'm just putting a ring around it just outside the area of the leaf which generally reflects the amount of roots in the ground. 
the tree gets bigger, I'll widen this out. I'm not putting the wood chip tight against the tree bark because some people talk about the tree picking up some disease. So I'm going to do two things to try and prevent that. One is just try and keep a, a gap um, around the trees about 10 centimeters. And the second thing is I plan to, to continue to use these spiral guards to put a barrier, physical barrier between the wood chip and the, and the trees. I don't have a problem with some growth around the tree as the, the main body of roots that we're trying to develop will be underneath this circle. As well as that, brown earth is dead earth, so you, it's kind of good to have something growing to help support the soil biology. So I think there's a balancing act between the pure brown earth policy and and uh, having healthy soil. Eventually I'll get to the point where I want to just have continuous wood chips between the three rows. And there's two reasons for that. The first one is mowing. If I have this filled out of wood chip, then I can make two runs up and down between the trees and that'll keep it cut back. Whereas with space in between end, I've gone up and down three times over the one space. So it's quite inefficient. The second reason is, you know, these trees should naturally form mycorrhizal associations with each other, with trees sharing this one big network and that's also to help facilitate that. So keep the mycorrhizal and the fungi in this corridor fed. So I've just realized you don't have to clutch with the shuttle shift. Just Look, no feet. Going backwards, no feet. <laughs> That's very handy. So that's it, 453s later, all done by hand. I finished mulching with the wood chip around the trees. I used a lot more wood chip than I expected. So I'm gonna to have to have a little think about how I will be able to supply enough wood chip for the other trees. So if you want to follow that journey from planting through to production, all the machine choices along the way, all the highs and lows, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. And until next time, good luck.